everyone. I'm Steve. I'm here again, as always, with Dr. Nario of Biointegrative Health Center. Thanks for being with us, doctor. Hi, Steve. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Okay, so hypertension, blood pressure, that's a big deal. I'm sure it's a big deal with a lot of your patients. People are trying to control it. So what, how would you define it first? Well, Steve, high blood pressure occurs when someone steps on your toe or hammer hits your finger. Of course, there's pain. So it's when your blood pressure, the force of your, the blood pushing against the walls of your blood vessels, is consistently too high. Ideally, we want it around 120 over 80, regardless of age, okay? So don't be happy, oh, I'm 130 over 90. No, 120 over 80, perfect. That's the perfect number. Half of adults in the U.S., almost 47% has hypertension. So that's almost 50%. So maybe you're one of them if you're listening to this ca uh, podcast or video. And this puts you at risk for heart, heart disease and stroke. Usually genetics is what we point our fingers at. But again, this can be related to micro and micronutrient insufficiencies. Thus, supplements play a big role. Yeah, so... Now, your blood pressure, now you're talking about, you said 120 over 70, that's at rest, rest, right? That's when you're sitting in a chair. It's not when you're running a marathon because yes. your blood pressure wouldn't be 120 over 70. It would be a lot higher, right? That's a good, yeah, you're correct. And also, here's one thing. When you go to your doctor's office, there's what we call white coat syndrome. You get nervous. Now, there are new studies out there that white coat syndrome needs to investigate it on because the ones who have this has actually a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. Yeah, because, and they're just going into the clinic or wherever to get their blood pressure and it actually does go up. Mm -hmm. Right. But you're saying it's still just because you have white coat syndrome, that doesn't mean it's not a problem. Right, that's correct. Okay, so you talked a little bit before we turned this video on about some new supplements that can help blood pressure. And I'm excited to hear about what these are. So what's the first one? So number one, my favorite, Steve, nitric oxide. This is actually a vasodilator, lowers down the blood pressure and actually helps the cardiovascular system maintain blood pressure, the right numbers, and even uh, promotes healthy circulation. Uh, it can be in supplement form. I use the one, the newest one out there. When you take it, it gives you 24-hour coverage of uh, nitric oxide distribution in your system. But it can also be found in food. It starts with the inorganic nitrates that we eat, which is found commonly in green leafy vegetables. And uh, as we ingest that, it gets absorbed in the circulation. But nitrate in that, uh, in, in that food, now it will be as we digest that with mastication or chewing, it will be now in the saliva. And the bacteria in our mouth actually converts that nitrate into nitrite. And then as we swallow that, then we, it turns into nitric oxide that will be distributed syst systemically. So that's why this is something that we can get in food, but we need a lot of food to, to, to get this. And that's why a supplement is always necessary so even as, a, as great of a vasodilator this is, I even use this on patients who has ED. Yeah, it's gonna bypass, you know, the, the what do we talk about? Um, the citrulline and the arginine, which are precursors to this, but you're right. saying that we can take nitric oxide and get it directly. That would help someone who's a runner or someone who's in some type of aerobic type athletics, that would help them a lot, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's why I, I, I use it on myself as a maintenance. I don't have blood pressure issues, knock on wood. I use it on athletes and I just tell everybody it's a vita, it's it's a nutrient that you, you definitely need just for everyday purposes. And you can take it in a capsule form. Yes. So even when we go back to that ED part, I even suggest this to patients before sexual activity. It's almost like helping with Viagra. I have patients who use it instead of Viagra. That's why you know how potent this vasodilator is. Wow. Okay, so give me another one. What's number two? Number two, Steve, is actually what we call seaweed. So this is actually, uh, in, in seaweed, there's an extract called ramnan sulfate. And it's a polysaccharide, meaning a carbohydrate. And the, the name is of the seaweed is monostroma nitidum. It's not the one you buy in Costco, so don't buy in packets, crazy packets, and taking it. 
So don't uh, don't be panic buying. And this is actually regenerating the what we call the glycocalyx, which is the the surrounding ground uh, of your blood vessel. And this cover or little micro thin inner uh, lining or of a barrier in the blood vessels triggers the production of again what nitric oxide and also resulting to vasodilation, lowering down blood pressure. And thus, this barrier also has the capacity to release antioxidants, uh, blood factors that helps open up those blood vessels for proper circulation, uh, and, and so many things. And so how do you take this? Is this something you take in a capsule form or a tablet form? Or Yes, uh, these are all capsule forms. I'm just not putting, um, uh, I guess, uh, names out there just because, of course, these are sponsored uh, labels. That's why I'm just keeping right, it yeah, neutral. Yeah. Yes. Maybe so I can answer it in the chat out there. somebody asks me. Promoting anything. So Right, right. What's the third one? I mean, these two are kind of interesting and surprising. Yep. So what's the third one? Third one is actually pretty practical, pretty easy. Minerals. This is actually number one, potassium. Increased dietary potassium lowers blood pressure. And the minimum recommendation is around 4,700 milligrams per day. But for hypertensive patients, it's six grams. And you have to make sure you have normal kidney functions for this. And also, you can get this directly from green leafy vegetables and fruits, supplements, and even medications. Another one that partnered a partner of potassium is magnesium, which also lowers blood pressure. In clinical trials, a dose of 500 to 1,000 milligrams per day lowers that blood pressure. And then when you combine both, and also adding a low sodium uh, intake in your diet actually is the same as uh, in terms of effectivity with blood pressure medications in terms of effect. And the, one of the better magnesiums to get out there is what we call chelated, usually the one that is paired with taurine. And this is the, the one that in studies have promoted a lot of blood pressure reductions. And also you can do Epsom salt baths or magnesium baths. And again, uh, just be cautious about magnesium when you take it, especially if you have kidney issues. Okay, last question. What about, I know there's some incredible IVs, um, ones that, that I do at the clinic. So what about that? That's like an IV drip, and there's some really good ones for this if people have high blood pressure, right? Right. One, our go-to, Steve, is usually chelation therapy. Chelation therapy actually cleans out the blood vessels in terms of, the, number one, the metals. So if you have metals in the blood vessels, it makes the blood vessels harder and tighter in, in relation to giving your blood pressure a higher uh, number on a reading. That's why with chelation, we remove that and even excessive calcium. And also, as I mentioned to you, magnesium and potassium, which is actually available in our vitamin drips. So if you're having an issue taking um, oral or any supplements, the IV dose or form will be good for you as well. Wow, that is great information. And it it's kind of new information to me. So uh, we appreciate your input as always, Dr. Nario. Thanks for being with us. Well, Steve, thank you again. As we all know, knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you with the edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge.